Hey guys, the following clip was taken from episode 136 of the Art of Wrestling podcast, which was a live podcast taping in Austin, Texas at the New Movement Theater. Not only that, but with the help of Katie Doodles, it gets animated. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. That sounds like a hell of a crew, M Dog and, uh, and Generico. They're, they're two of the best guys ever. And we were in Cleveland a couple months ago, and they wanted to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And not to let the cat out of the bag, but if you are a touring band going through Cleveland, they will let you into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for, for, for free. I didn't know that. This is true. And so I look like I look. <laughs> M Dog's got a huge beard, looking like he looks. El Generico's got a lucha mask like he looks. Um, and so, it's not, it's, not like, it's not like we don't look like we could be in a band. But, um, so, M-Dog emails them and they say, bring a CD and credentials. So, um, my thought was, we should show them my music videos, like the Bell of Lacey, and say, hey, we're pro wrestlers, but these guys are in my band and we play this music. Oh, okay. So M-Dog's plan, he had a, uh, still in the cellophane, uh, plastic, a CD from 2000 for a band called Liquid. Nobody's ever heard of Liquid. Uh, there's, no, there's no pictures of the guys in the band on the front or the back, no names. Um, the only problem is if they, you know, delve any further into it, they can find out that we're not liquid. Um, There's three black guys from the- Right. So, so we decided to go with Matt's plan, because Matt's like, what are they going to do? You know, open up the CD in front of us, what are they going to do? Think three guys that are like 30 years old are going to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame on a Monday trying to save 20 bucks by pretending they're in a band and look like this? No way. Like, tell me I'm not the lead singer of Liquid. So we go in there. And El Generico does the talking in his broken English. He says, hey, we talked to uh, somebody here, and they said, we're, if we're in a band, they'd let us in for free. And the guy says, absolutely. Do you have a CD? He says, we do. And he puts down the CD. And he puts down his ID to show his credentials. That's what they asked for, a CD and credentials. And the guy picks up the CD, and he looks at it, looks at the front, looks at the back, and said, um, are your names or pictures on here anywhere? And Generico looks at me and looks at Matt. And we go, ah, I don't really remember. The CD's from 2000. It's like, well, inside, is there? Mm, I don't know. He's like, well, can you open it and find out? He turns around, so he's got his back to the guy, he's facing me, and I open it. And we have no idea what's gonna be inside there. And we open up the CD, and the first thing you see are five fat dudes on a couch with their names underneath it. <laughs> There's no way it's us. m Dog just walks away. Like, not only are we not gonna get it for free, I don't think they're gonna let us in at all at this point. So I look at Generico, just shrug. He, God bless him, staying in the bit, turns around, puts the CD down. The guy looks at it and gives us a puzzled look. Generico just goes in broken English. Uh, see, none of these guys are in the band anymore. This is the old liquid. We're the new liquid. <laughs> Which, which saved us, but the guy's still like, look, I mean, if you don't have anything that proves you're in a band, I, I really can't let you in for free. So I pull out my cell phone, I pull up the battle lacy, I throw it down there, and he says, here you go, guys. Wow. Enjoy. Boom, boom, Coca Cabana. Boom, boom, Coca Cabana. Boom, boom, Coca Cabana. It's Coca.